Former President Barjagrio has his own definition of inclusionary governance, which he says is about building trust. He explained that developing trust between the ruling and opposition parties is essential to executive power sharing. He said trust can be gauged based on how political parties operate in relation to constitutional bodies and parliamentary committees. In this case, now, for the first time in the history of Guyana since independence and maybe even before, we have a minister on the Public Accounts Committee, in, which is unheard of anywhere in the Commonwealth. A minister sits on the Public Accounts Committee. That minister is Volda, Volda Lawrence. And she's been the subject of several investigations herself. He further noted that it is unusual for ministers to be on standing committees, which they are answerable to. Jagdio said it was the PBP that pushed for inclusion of opposition parties on those commissions and committees so that they will have a voice on national issues as a part of their vision for inclusionary governance. The way I see it forward is that Ghana can move faster if they both you have some form of arrangement where all the parties can be involved. I can't define a specific mode, but I believe in that. Junior Minister of Finance Jaipal Sharma said he is willing to give up his post to the People's Progressive Party in order to facilitate inclusionary governance, which he believes includes power sharing. But Jagdeo shot down that idea, noting that the decision really isn't one that Minister Sharma can make. Davina Samaru, Newsroom.